Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically how people are producers or consumers and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we understand these terms producer and consumer in animal worlds, but we also use this when we're talking about how people make money or how they spend money. So if you are a producer, uh, sometimes that means you make something to sell. And so you might make a table, you might make uh, some clothes, or you have skills. So you might use your skills. You might be really good at computers. You might be really good at sewing. But either way, whether you make something, whether you use your skills, you make money. So when you make money, that gives you money that you can spend. And what you then become is when you're spending that money is you become a consumer. So with that money that you are producing because you make something to sell or use your skills, you now want to buy stuff. And so when you consume things, you buy things. You buy groceries, you buy cars, you buy homes, clothes, video games, whatever it is, you buy things when you are a consumer. But when you buy things, you actually buy those things from producers. So it's a big circle that goes all the way back. The people who made those things that you buy, they get money and then they go out and spend it on new things and then you get more money and you go out and spend it. It's this big circle. So you make money and you spend money and you make money and you spend money. Now, what would that look like for someone who wanted to try to make some money in second grade? Let's say that you wanted to make some bracelets you got this idea from a YouTube video and you wanted to buy, uh, buy some materials and make some bracelets and sell them to your friends because you know your friends like bracelets. And so you're going to need some beads. You're going to need some leather. And then all you need is a little clasp so that the bracelets can be opened and closed. That's Those are the three things that you're going to need. And so you get some beads, you get some leather, you get some clasps, and you spend some time making some different designs. And lo and behold, you have your bracelet and you are going to sell your bracelet for $2. Well, when you sell your bracelet for $2, you become a producer. That means you have made something that somebody else wants to buy. But you didn't actually make a full two dollars while you received two dollars for this bracelet how much money did it take you to get the materials needed the beads the leather and the clasps in order to make that bracelet and then how many bracelets can you make with those materials well what you'll find out is that with that one set of beads and leather and clasps that you make, you can make several bracelets. Let's just say that you can make three bracelets. And so that would be a total, if you sell all three, that's going to be a total of $6. So we're going to say that you sold $6. But we need to go back and see how much money did you spend on the beads, the leather, and the clasps. Well, let's say the beads were pretty cheap. Those were just one dollar. The leather was a little bit more expensive. So that was a dollar and fifty cents. But the clasps, those are really cheap. Those just cost you fifty cents. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how much your costs are. These are the costs. And so we're going to add up the $1, the $1.50, and the $0.50. Cents. And what you're going to find is that that is going to equal $3. So that's ten, 5 and 5 is 10. Bring the decimal down. 1, 2, 3. So the profit is going to be calculated when we take the total amount made. So that's the $6.00. We're going to take away the cost. It really costs you $3 to make it. And then your profit is $3. So you made a $3 profit.